I'm going to bring in Carlos Quintero, who I've known. Well, let's let, it, let him tell everybody how long we know each other. Los, how are you, my friend? Hey, how's it going, Chris? Andy, uh, Willie Gibson, this is Carlos. We've known each other. How long, Los? I mean, at least the 90s. Uh, my, my days at Rice started in the 90s. So whenever you trickled in, I did, um, I did uh, remember you were with the Stealth. I listened to yep. well. So even back then. We were. <laughs> it's a long time. That's a long, long time. Twenty some years, right? <laughs> at, at, at least, yeah. And Carlos, let everybody know a little bit about your your background and why were you at Rice? Absolutely. Well, first of all, Andy, Willie, hello. Um, I start. I came out to school at Rice. I started in uh, early nineties. Um, I became a student manager for the women's basketball team, and then. Coach McKinney, that was the head coach at the time. She uh, she saw something in me that I, uh, you know, developed my craft in in basketball, and she hired me, and I stayed there till 2010. And then uh, for the last, I'm now entering my 14th year at Sharp Sun High School. So it's been kind of a 19 years at Rice, and now 14 years at Sharpstown. And what are you doing at at Sharpstown? So I am the athletic coordinator. Uh, I'm still involved with uh, girls basketball, the head coach. Uh, I also do track, and then I teach Spanish. Wow. Andy, see the, see the parallel? <laughs> the full, yes, most definitely. <laughs> That's a full slate, man. Right, tell, right. Andy, tell Carlos about your your your, uh, your track right now. Uh, my track is exactly, uh, well, not exactly the same, but pretty similar, just very, very um expedited i don't know if i'm using that word correctly to describe the process but yeah I spent the last four years similar to chris around the university of houston covering uh specifically pop on hoops the last couple of seasons at the university of houston uh, this year's my first year uh going back to where i graduated high school being a teacher there so i'm going to be i'm an english teacher specifically english too and funny thing, I have the exact same title as well as athletics coordinator <laughs> at my school, which is funny to hear that. So awesome. What school are you at? Uh, yes, Prep Southeast. Okay. And he's he also coaches Lopes, coaches basketball, right? Yes, sir. Nice. Nice. <laughs> so small the exact world. Parallel. Right. Yep. So Los and I saw each other last Saturday at the Houston ISD Hall of Honor ceremony. Right and had not seen each other in a while but i finally asked him again if he could come on if he had time to be on the show and he said yes and he got the approval and all that so that's why he is here as a guest on folks talking sports so miss wanda joe mendez watching us on youtube we got a rice owl perspective so don't hate on us we do <laughs> things you know expand the sports world here on folks talking sports it's not just the Cougs or the rockets talk about rice Sharpstown. Los, how'd you go to, how do you end up at Sharpstown? <laughs> uh, I was supposed, that was the first school I went to interview. I was supposed to go to five schools, Milby, Lamar, and two private schools. That happened to be the first school that at the time their business manager was a Rice grad. I didn't know that. Um, but I went in, I interviewed with Devin Heasley. I don't know if you remember him. He was the AC at Sharp Sound. I walked in, you know, and when he saw my, he's like, wait, you're a associate head coach for Rice Women's Basketball and you want to come coach and teach at Sharp Sound? I was <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, yes, I'm going to the high school ranks. They're like, so what's going on? I go, after 18 years, you know, after, I guess at that time, I'm counting my years as a student, but after 12 years of just traveling and I, I wanted to slow down and catch kids earlier. Right. Um, I, I thought I could do a good job of that catching them in high school. Uh, so I walk in to this campus who at the time was also going to get a new principal unbeknownst to me. Okay. Right. And so I, I, do, you know, I'm interviewing AC's like, look, man, if it worked to me, I'd give you the job right now. But we have a new principal. He needs to, you know, he doesn't come. We don't know when he's going to come in sometime this week. And I thought, hey, no worries. I'll come back. As I'm walking out, who walks in? The new principal. And 
for the next two, three hours, we are talking about Elon basketball. He's an Elon guy. We're talking about Elon basketball. Wow. Nice kids. And he says, you are not going to go anywhere. This is this is where you need to be. And sure enough, I didn't go to the other interviews. Like I talked to some other people and I talked to some of the kids there that they, they had workouts going on. It was this summer and it, it's just weird. That's my trajectory. It was my trajectory has been, I come in, I talk to somebody and they're like, you're the guy. I mean, that's how it was at Rice. That's how I got into Rice. That's how I got the job with Coach McKinney. I mean, I tell it. If you have, we don't have enough time to tell you, but everything that has happened in my career has been conversations where I meet somebody and they're like, you're the guy, stay here. And somehow I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Andy, can you relate to that? A little bit different, but yet different and similar at the same time. I won't go if I go too much into specifics, we might be here the whole the whole <laughs> evening. Right? Yeah. But but I think also I think Andy, maybe you know, you do the same. When that opportunity did open, I didn't second guess it. I was like most definitely. Hey, this is it. I mean, this this path has been paved, it's opened. Why am I gonna try and second guess it and go somewhere else? And that's why I've you know been fortunate. Yeah, most definitely to add on to that point. Um, priorities. Prior, whenever you start prioritizing something over what you always thought you would, uh, you were aiming for, that's really when, like you said, you don't second guess it. Yep. Los, do you still keep in touch with uh, folks from Rice? I do. I do. You know, like I mean, uh, it, it again. You know, we could we could be here forever. I did so many things at Rice. I dabbled in everything. Even when I was a coach, you know, I, I wanted to know everybody. I wanted to know what people were doing and, and you know, just implement things that I learned all around. Um, you know, obviously athletics. I'm still involved with athletics. Uh, I took on volleyball a couple years back and Volpe got texted texts from me day and night and weekends. <laughs> and I was like, how do I become a, a great volleyball player? She's like, come on, calm down. You're at high school, you know. You know. Um, I keep up with uh, food, housing and dining. They support us. Um, you know, uh, I, as I mentioned, I'm Spanish, so I teach AP Spanish. And every year, with the exception of a couple years of COVID, they support us by uh, giving our AP Spanish kids breakfast tacos. So, like, you name it, departments. Uh, athletics is the strongest one I still stay in touch with, uh, present and past. Um, you know, track, everybody. I, I'm, I'm a rice guy. You know, I, I think I texted you this, Chris. I'm a rice shop sound guy. Yeah. You know, that's the two loves of my life right now. You know, I'm single, but I'm sharp sound. I'm a, I'm an owl through and through with that Apollo fire. How, how has your experience since you've been at Sharpstown, how has that changed? Evolved. That's a better word. Evolved. Yeah. I think, I think the word is evolved, you know, um, like Rice, um, you know, when we were at Rice, people were like, oh, women's basketball. You know, one of the things we said, we could be top 50. People were like, no, you can't. Look at them now, right? Women's basketball. Right. Mm -hmm. awesome. um, same when I got to Rice, people were like, what are you doing? Obviously, right? At the time, you know, 2010, Sharpstown is, um, you know, we made we made the news. Uh, if, if people haven't seen, uh, I was actually, uh, PBS came in and did a documentary on us um interviewed kids and we were on a we were in a shift you know uh sharp sound was struggling and what we were then to what we are now are light years you know i mean kids are amazing the kids back then were amazing too but i think the structure um i think the um, motivation maybe you know it was funny. I still remember this. Kids were like, even the kids, when I would be in the room and, exp you know, talk to them about who I was, what I did, they were like, uh, uh, wait, what? Like, are you going to be here after Christmas? And I was like, I, I signed for a year. I'm like, are you telling me something? I was like, I signed here for a year. So I, I think the things that we've done, I always say this every year, even when I was at Rice, we can do more. Um, but where we are and what we've done 
collectively because you know it's not it's not one person you know what athletics is it's not me it's it's all the coaches that have been there even before we were there um i think is amazing i i think we we still have things that we're going to be able to uh bring uh forth uh and, and you know we just need a we need to communicate all the great things that are happening i mean i've been there for 14 years uh there must be, I know there's something going on, right? Because otherwise, why would I be there? I don't believe I've ever asked you this. <laughs> I've been asked a couple of times. Uh oh, okay. Long, long time ago. Yeah. But why women's basketball? How did you get involved <laughs> with women's basketball? So again, it's one of those, something happens, right? I, I was a gym rat all my life, but I ran cross country and, high, and uh, track. I was a, Believe it or not, I was a 438 miler, uh, and that only got me sixth place out of district. Wow. El Paso was tough. El Paso was tough. Um, but when I got to uh, Rice, I, I loved running, and I loved playing basketball. So I was in the gym back then, Autry Court, you, you know, now Tudor Fieldhouse, right? Back then, Autry Court. With that, with that cement floor, that hard, that cement hard court. Floor, yeah. No fans, you know, it was, it was you know, those – those short blue shorts and the gray, the gray shirts. And back then, kids had to take PE. So I had to take PE, right? Uh, so I was in the gym all the time. Uh, some random day, I'm walking up the, up the stairs. It's 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And this big old guy, Willie Hatchell, assistant coach at the time, <laughs> yep. is, giving, is giving these kids Nike gear and Nike shoes. And I go, excuse me, sir, um, what's going on here? He's like, you play basketball? I go, yes, sir. He's like, you good rice? I go, yes. He's like, what year are you? I'm like, I'm a junior. He's like, all right. You want to try and get some of this? I go, yeah. He's like, come to my office. I walk into his office. We talk about basketball. We talk about what I do. I tell him I'm here on the, in the gym all the time. I told him, I tell him I've been at the games. I know who the kids are. You know, the girls are. As a matter of fact. You have one of the top point guards at the time, Jessica Garcia and Kim Lalonde were at Baker. So I was like, yeah. I know these girls, um, you know, and then he pulls out, you know, he's like, what size are you? I'm like, I'm an 11. He pulls out a box and goes, here you go. We'll see you at practice tomorrow. There you go. <laughs> I start, I become a, a, a scout team. So I was part of the first Rice women's basketball scout team. Wow. See, I did not know that. See, yeah, that, that was how, it. How about that? Yep. From that time to now, from what you've seen, how has college basketball, heck, women's basketball, how has it evolved? I mean, wow, right? Uh, you know, the, the, the technology, the, 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 just the athleticism, uh, uh, the game has just gone faster, you know, even on the women's side, right? Uh, back then, I'll be honest, when we first started, when I first started as scouts, uh, scout team, student manager, um, kids were, we, we didn't have as athletic teams as I see now. You know, I was telling Volpe this like four or five years ago, I think right before COVID, I was like, man, even volleyball, like the, the these, these, you know, 18, 19 uh, female athletes that we're getting, are are just were amazing, right? I mean, right. Just, I mean, I think so. That I think that in a sense has evolved. And then, you know, back in the day, we used to you know do visits and all that. I mean, that that's how with technology now, kids are like by their sophomore junior year, they're like, no, I'm coming here. So that part, I I'm glad I'm out of the game. I, I'm glad I'm not in the college dealing with all that. But uh, it's amazing to see just how the the athleticism even at a place like Rice, because I've always thought we had very athletic uh, players. But even now, I'm like, man, the, these kids, I, I'd put them up against, you know, I'd still put up our 2000, uh, you know, our, our conference championship teams against any of them, but uh, they, they have gotten better. Yeah. Will, you got any questions for Los in these final moments? Uh, no, no, sir. Los, what are your goals for this year at Sharpstown? Well, you know, as always, um, making sure that we we equip these kids with with everything not just about winning or losing it on the, on the field or on the course but you know the academics uh, giving them opportunities making them see the potential and the opportunities that 
athletics and academics can do for them, not at, only at the high school level, but um, after that. So, you know, I, I, we have a group that is excited. You know, funny enough, we have a new principal. So I'm, I'm back in like 2000. I, I feel rejuvenated again. I, I feel excited about where we're going to head. And so I'm just looking for, you know, a, a great year and, and providing everything we can for these kids uh, to be better. And, you know, for, for, for them to find a rice, kind of like myself or kind of like what Andy, find their path to uh, um, something great that can leverage them into a career of wherever they go. How long do you want to continue in education? <laughs> as long as they kick me out, as long as they keep me in, not kick me out. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I've been fortunate. Like I said, I've had several principals at Sharpstown. Um, everybody has allowed me to provide the opportunities that that we can. Um, of course, I've gotten a lot of no's, but we've always found ways to get that get it done. You know, and and HSD Athletics, Andre uh, is very receptive about just making all of us better. So I think I'm sticking around until, you know, all the fields on campus, the building, people are like, man, look, that's Sharp Sound Athletics. And kid, here's my biggest goal, and I've said this for years. I want kids in the summer to come to Sharpstown to learn, learn and, and improve their skill in whatever sport and who cares where they go? But when people ask them, hey, how'd you how'd you learn or how'd you get into this? Oh, I went through Sharpstown. Yeah. That's it. That's all I want. And do you got any, any questions or comments for Los before we let him go? No, sir, I do not. It was really cool to get to hear uh, Mr. Quintero's story, uh, especially like you alluded to, Chris Parallels. Los, you know I got to uh, give you a dig because I'm a Waltrip graduate. So... <laughs> Kids, you can do what you want to, too. But, uh, you know, hey, you went to Wall Trip. They don't know that instead of Sharp Sound. But <laughs> it's all HISD love. Carlos, thank you very much, man. Absolutely. We'll do this again. When we're going to talk, you and I are going to talk some Rice women's basketball. Let's do it. And say hi to any of the former players who I haven't heard from in a, in a long time and share this segment with them, especially Coach Hatchell, because I did not know that. That's a great story. Yeah. So tell them I said hi, too. And, and I, I look it. forward to talking to you throughout this season, my friend. Take care. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Mm. Good to talk take to you all. Care. All right. Take care. Carlos Quintero, Rice, and Sharpstown. Now, what, 14 years in Sharpstown now? 14. 14 years in county. Carlos Quintero, you take care. Appreciate it. See you all.